thanks very much, Amanda, um, and welcome everyone. Good afternoon and welcome to the uh, first uh, virtual open day um, here at the University of Glasgow. So, uh, as Amanda said, my name is Cheryl. I'm a lecturer in human geography here uh, at the university, but I'm also the senior advisor of studies for geography. So if you do um, come and study geography, I will definitely meet you all um, at some point. And what I'm going to do today is just give you a bit of a snapshot about our degree programme in geography and give you a bit of a sense of what you might be studying um, while you're here. And also just to give you a bit of an invitation into thinking about why you might want to come and study geography at university, why it's a really good idea um, for you to do so. So just to give you some context, um, the reason that I came to university to study geography is because I'm really interested in justice and issues of justice. So whether that be social justice, environmental justice, political justice, I'm really interested in how we can make positive um, enactments into our world and change the world in really positive um, ways, which is why I was really attracted to the subject of geography. And hopefully as we go along in this presentation, I can show you a little bit about how you could perhaps um, use your own interests to make more hopeful futures um, for the world that we all live in. Now, in terms of geography, actor Michael Palin sums up geography, I think, as a discipline quite well. He says, geography is a living, breathing subject constantly adapting itself to change. It is dynamic and relevant. For him, geography is a great adventure with a purpose. So many of the world's current issues at a global scale and locally boil down to geography. And we need the geographers of the future to help us to understand them. And what I want us to think about today as we go through this presentation is why would you come and study such a dynamic and such a living subject here at Glasgow and I want to try and tell you and give you some ideas about why that might be the case. So when we're thinking about studying geography at Glasgow there might be lots of things that you want to consider. I think the first thing is that we are uh, renowned for our world-class teaching excellence. We care about teaching, we love teaching, um, it's one of the best things that we do. Um, so we really try and engage um, our students with that passion and that enthusiasm and that comes through um, in lots of our student um, feedback. Uh, the University of Glasgow and the Geography Degree Programme has a highly flexible honours programme, which I'll talk to you a little bit about um, later on, but essentially means that you can really focus in on the things that you care about most. You can really become an expert in certain aspects of geography. We have great opportunities for fieldwork, which again I'll talk about a little bit later on. These might be adapted and changed um, due to our current situation, but we still are inherently um, a field-based subject, which we really like to get out into the field when we can, be that at the moment virtually or otherwise. Um, we have diverse career pathways. Our geographers go on to do many different things, which again I'll talk to you about at the end of the presentation. And Glasgow is very much an amazing place to live and to study. Um, I am from Glasgow, so maybe I am biased, but it is an incredibly vibrant and wonderful city. But in terms of studying geography, it's also really important because Glasgow in one sense is this incredible laboratory where you can study everything about the world in a kind of miniature format. So we use the city a lot in our teaching to really bring out some of those dynamic aspects of the subject. Our subjects also professionally accredited our degrees from the Institute of Environmental Science in Scotland and from the Royal Geographical Society um, as well. So we really do have, um, not only do we think our um, degrees are really strong, we have them accredited by outside organisations um, as well. In terms of thinking about the other side of things for the university, we have teaching, but we also have research. But the University of Glasgow is a research-led um, teaching institution, which means that whatever we research in the world, we bring into our classrooms um, and we teach um, what we are passionate about. Um, so research does become really, really important. And as a student, not only will you conduct your own research, but you'll very much be part of this um, vibrant research culture that is both um, in geography and in jazz more broadly. 
So as I said at the beginning, I want to kind of get us to think about why study geography as a subject and then why study geography at Glasgow. And I think the two are interconnected. The first thing about geography is that what we teach in our uh, discipline is how to understand the complex world in which we live. What are the techniques and the theories that we need to try and untangle some of the complexities of the lived world, the lived reality that we experience? And as a degree, Subject, we concentrate a lot about our understanding of the world. But we always do this in relationship to both the social world and the natural world as well. So we're always looking at the interconnectivity between human and physical um, worlds, human and physical ideas. We don't just teach things in isolation. Geography is a vital subject for our times and we teach it here at Glasgow as a vital subject because we strongly believe that it is. We care about our discipline deeply and we want to promote that way of caring about our discipline to our students um, as well. So it really is this idea of, of a vital subject. And I think if you take our current situation at the moment, um, their COVID-19, um, you can see in miniature how geography is so fundamentally important to that. For example, we can map um, COVID across the world to see the disparities in different places. We can think about the strategy to deal um, with COVID-19, which has been um, social distancing. Social distancing is a spatial geographical strategy, but we can also think geopolitically about how different politicians across the world are dealing with the crisis differently and the implications this has to people and to place. So just in miniature, we can actually see how vital geography is to our understanding of contemporary society. We really need geographers of the future to help us to think through some of these issues. So many of the problems that we face or the challenges that we face in the world are what we would call hybrid problems. And we teach them as hybrid problems that are not entirely human and not quite physical only only. Um, and so together we think it's, we can be really strong in thinking about the challenges that we face. And we teach this in our degree both on a global scale, so we look at things like climate change and social justice um, at, at a global scale and what is happening across the world, but we also look at it at a local scale as well and we engage the local communities around us to thinking about the problems that we're trying to solve. Um, so this for example is a project that I work on on school gardens. If anyone is here from the Clear Academy you'll recognise this garden, it's your garden, but actually what we really want to promote in our degree is that actually we want to get students out there working with communities, out there engaging with the world around them so they don't just theoretically understand the world, they actually understand how to make hopeful futures for themselves in the world. So that's a really important part of our degree programme. Now to think a bit more technically um, about how the degree structure for geography works here at the university, um, you can study geography in all three colleges of the university, so be that um, uh, the social science, arts or the College of Science and Engineering um, and you can do geography in all of them and different kinds of uh, formats with other subjects. If you don't know already, um, when you come to, university, to the University of Glasgow, you pick three subjects in your first year. So if you're studying geography, you would then do two subjects alongside that. Um, this is an example timetable for somebody doing the BSc in geography, so coming through the College of Science and Engineering. You might pick um, another subject, something like Earth Science, which Amanda is going to talk to you about next. Um, and then you might pick another subject from the College of Science and Engineering, um, like Maths or Archaeology. But you can also do something from Social Science or arts um, as well. In level two you'll go down to two subjects and then in your level three and four you will decide whether or not you're going to do a single honours geography degree or you're going to do a joint honours degree um, with another subject which again is very common in geography. An example of a social science degree 
with geography, again, is something like this, very similar. The difference is that you wouldn't have to do another science subject. You could do um, a social science subject like sociology, and then you could pick another one either from the College of Science and Engineering or Arts. And we know that this is quite a complicated system, so you will have a team of advisors that help you to pick matching subjects um, with your uh, chosen degree one. So you'll get a lot of support along the way to be able to make your choices. The arts degree, again, you can do geography and it's really important to know that it doesn't matter what college you come through, the geography you get is exactly the same. You will sit in the same classroom as everyone else, no options will be um, limited to you depending on what college you come in. It's just that you do your different subjects um, through uh, their first and second years. That's the only difference. And obviously the degree you get at the end has different letters, but that is literally the only difference. Arts, if you're coming through the arts route or you're thinking about applying through the arts route, it's worthwhile knowing that this is the most restrictive route to come through in terms of picking your other subjects. So with geography, other subjects would have to be from the arts um, catalogue. Okay, so you would have to do another two arts subjects with geography in your first year. And again, it's worthwhile noting that we're going to be on the chat later on this afternoon. So if there's any specific questions about these kinds of things, please do let us know because we know it can be a little bit complicated. Now, in terms of what we do in our first and second year programmes, um, I think um, hopefully I've given you a sense of the degree as very issues led. Um, whatever is happening in the world, we make sure that we adapt our courses to it. We really want to teach you um, the most up and coming um, issues that we can. So in year one, you'll notice that we focus on worldly aspects of the, of the world effectively. So we've got a world of resources, a world of changing environments, a world of development, shrinking world, a world of interactions, a world of conflict, and all of these subjects together encapsulate both physical, human and environmental geography. And you will do training in all of these. So you'll get a chance, a flavour if you like, to test them all out. In year two is the same. You'll see that we go into more specific categories like social geography, historical geography, coastal, geomorphology, fluvial geography. So you'll get again this flavour of both physical, um, human and environmental geography to really train you up to be um, a holistic thinker um, in the world's challenges. As you go on to years three and four, you get to choose um, the options that suit you most. What are you passionate about? So like I said, I was really passionate as, as a student about justice. I still am. So I would pick subjects in the human um, geography catalogue that really appeal to my sense of thinking through inequalities, poverty, all those kinds of aspects. But you might have a particular interest that you want to drive through your degree. And these option modules allow you to do that. This is just an example of some of the modules that we offer in our degree programme at the moment. So you'll see there's things like urban geographies, um, geomorphology, coastal geography, earth futures. Um, and at the moment, what we've got um, is three different um, new options that have just come onto our book. So we've got geographies of international migration, geopolitics of infectious diseases and glacial processes. So again, what we're doing, if you see the geopolitics of infectious disease, um, we are putting an option on that is led by the current situation that we're in. Okay, so again, really issues based and you can become a real specialist um, in these ideas. So you will inevitably get to pick what you're passionate about. And this is where our research led teaching comes in, because what we research in the world, we bring to our honours option. So for example, my honours option, um, is historical geographies of care, conflict and confinement. Um, I am partly a historical geographer and I love to work in archives and museums and we take the students, whether that be virtually this year or physically, we take them to museums and archives to work on these topics. So some people might be saying, oh, I don't know if I want to do history or geography. With geography you can do both together. So it's a great combination um, subject. And again, what we are trying to do through these modules is just show you how passionate we are about our subject to try and get you interested um, and to adapt your skills to allow you to develop um, your ideas in certain ways.
In terms of field work, as I say, this is really um, just a, a a kind of hint of what we might do because we don't know at the moment what we, is possible to do um, as our current situation continues and we will be adapting um, our field classes dependent on government guidelines over the next little while. But in terms of what we try to do in our degree is we always try to have um, residential field classes in year two and year three. Um, in year two, we have a UK based one. Um, at the moment, it goes to the Scottish Highlands. Um, and in level three, we have an international one, which we go to Mallorca. Um, again, we will wait and see what happens with these um, next year, but we're really very excited about getting you out into the field and getting you to experience and practice geography um, out outdoors in the natural um, world. Here at um, uh, JES, we've decided to uh, not have a tier approach to field classes, which means we don't have different field classes based on people's financial requirements. What we have is one field class that we hope everyone can afford and um, that everyone goes to. And that's a really important ethos um, for us, that nobody should be excluded. Um, we should all be going to the same place and experiencing the same um, field class. Here at Glasgow, we have an incredible amount of facilities. You might have already been to some talks today where they've told you about some of these facilities. But again, um, when we're back on campus, things like the University Library it is an incredible resource and one our students use not just for studying, but also for socialising as well. It's a really important space. Um, we have different buildings with different labs, different technologies. Um, again, a really vibrant place um, for people to study. Study abroad is really popular with geography. Again, it is all dependent um, on what the future holds for us. But normally, a, a, a large proportion of our students go uh, and study abroad in level three of their studies. So they don't take a year out to do the year abroad. They actually incorporate it into the four years of their degree. And we've got a special geography um, year abroad um, officer who deals and keeps in touch um, with everyone that is away. So again, if this is something that you're interested in, then perhaps um, we can talk about that when you start here at Glasgow. Um, here in Geography, there is obviously lots of partnerships with industry as well. Industry is, is really important um, and there's close affiliations with um, organisations like CERC, um, which is located um, in Glasgow and again really is a, a very interesting dynamic for students to engage with and to be part with. Here at the University of Glasgow, and particularly within the school, we have a real commitment to equality and diversity. Um, we hold the Silver Award for Athena Swan, which is really important. Um, and recently, we're going to be having some really important conversations about decolonizing our curriculum. So again, really engaging with very important issues and students are always able to um, add into this dialogue um, that we're having, but we're very, it's a very important part of our school and our university. There's also some clubs and societies which we know are really important um, and our students love. So for geography, there's a, a club called Jogsock. They, I do believe they have a Facebook page um, that you can maybe go on and, and have a look at. And for earth science, um, it's GUESS and uh, they often have joint events as well um, together. So it's a really kind of great way to get to know people um, who are studying your degree and maybe have the same sort of interests as you. We've had quite a few um, quiz nights. We've had a few um, lectures as well where people really are able to talk through things again that they really care about. So just as I'm coming to a close to um, pass over to Amanda, just to give a sort of sense of what do our graduates do? Well, obviously geography is not a vocational degree, so our graduates go into a whole range of different um, and wonderful um, employment. Um, we have uh, social researchers, civil servants, people going to TV and media, environmental officers. It really is a very diverse collection um, of uh, possibilities. And you can see some of these job stories, a uh, career story, sorry, on our uh, university website. But importantly, our fourth year core course is designed with the career service. Um, so there's a really strong connection about how we can actually skill you up to get you into the, the job that you're really looking for um, by that fourth year um, of studying. So 
I hope I've given you a bit of a sense of why you might want to study um, geography at Glasgow. I think there are so many reasons I couldn't squeeze them in um, to 20 minutes. Um, I hope some of you have some questions for us. We would love to answer them. But I think if I have a takeaway point um, in terms of what makes Glasgow different, what makes Glasgow a, a university um, and a, a, a school that you might want to study in, is that I think it's about that enactment of positive change. We really would encourage you to become a geographer of the future and we really would help you and hopefully inspire you to not only put um, your ideas on a page but actually to practice them um, in the real world around you and we would really support you um, to do that in all kinds of ways. So thank you so much for listening and um, I say hopefully I will see you later at the questions and I'm